Thank you for joining us today, everyone. We are here with Hallie Span Barkey from Webster University, a three-time, that's right, I said it, the only three-time player of the year in Slyak women's basketball, um, All-American, what didn't she do on the court? We're here to talk about the 2000s um, Slyak women's basketball with her today. Uh, Hallie, thank you for uh, joining us and uh, um, let's get started. You know, um, you know, Webster, right at that turn of the century there, you had three play, three um, back-to-back third place showings in the Slyak standings, finally cracked through in the 0102 season, um, going 14 and 0. Uh, can you talk about the hard work the team put in to get to that next level, take that next step? Sure. Um, I really think it was just about uh, knowing and believing in ourselves. Uh, we'd they prior to me uh, coming to Webster, uh, Coach Barkey got the position, and I think with the coaching change and then just the. Uh, I guess the new culture, uh, winning, I don't know if winning was like expected or whatever, but it was like, you know, winning is possible. Losing is really not an option. Uh, and we just, we started to believe in ourselves and I think it just started to show out on the court. Yeah. You mentioned it there, changing that culture. And it always begins with that confidence, you know, players understanding, knowing, Hey, we can do this, you know, um, to really, really change that culture. So, um, you know, you know, that same year, that 0102 season, not only did you crack through by going undefeated in conference play, you advanced all the way to the Sweet 16 in the national tournament. What do you remember about that run and then playing in the national tournament? Uh, it was it was it was fun. Uh, obviously, had never done that before. So uh, it definitely I think we, we surprised ourselves, but I think we surprised a lot of other people, too. Um, especially just even going when we went and played in the sweet 16, we played against the eventual national champions. And I mean, at one point we were up by 10. So it was like, Oh, we can be there. We can do this. Uh, so I mean, that's just something I think it gives other schools, our size, you know, even the confidence, Hey, it can be done if you put the hard work in and, and do it. So but yeah, it was it was a good it was a good time. It was uh, very hot in that gym. Um, <laughs> we had to stop the game a couple times because of the sweat on the floor. We had to wipe up. Oh, wow! It was standing room only. It was it was crazy. Yeah, um, so. you know we've mentioned confidence a couple times. We've mentioned um, you know believing in yourself. What was it about you? Why did you choose to go to Webster University Division Three? What was it that led you there? Uh, well, Coach Barkey, uh, and obviously my last name is Barkey. Uh, so Coach Barkey, I had originally went to Illinois College my freshman year. Um, he was the assistant coach there. I actually went to school um, with his brother, Brady, who is now my husband, uh, in high school. And, uh, and Coach Barkey got the uh, position at Webster between my freshman and sophomore year. And he was the one that kind of recruited me. He came and watched me play when I was in high school. And just when he was talking, he said, you know, Hey, if you, if you want to transfer, that's, that's great. Whatever. He uh, he never pressured me into it. Um, But he just, he kind of talked to me about what the, what kind of player I could be. Mm -hmm. Um, And I think that was a lot of just trust in him. um, Because I felt like he could bring that potential out in me. And I actually, uh, at the end of my freshman year is when we, we started my, me and my husband started dating. So, uh, that maybe played a little bit of a part into it. <laughs> got got um, a little insight. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, it just, it just happened. It seemed to be the best move for me. Um, mm-hmm. I probably, if I would have gone back to Illinois college, probably wouldn't have played basketball. So, uh, I think it worked out pretty good (laughs) yeah yeah I think so yeah not too bad (laughs) yeah uh now we've mentioned basketball but you were also a member of the softball team at Webster yes can you talk about that a little bit what was it like going straight from the basketball court to the softball diamond uh well it was it wasn't as hard uh probably that it it could have been uh there were a couple of us Laura Stolman uh Mm -hmm. she was on that team that year as well we both played softball uh, although she may have been done by the time, I don't remember where, 
if she had a year of eligibility left, I know she did in basketball, uh, but the, the good thing about that is I had understanding teammates because I missed a lot of the preseason for softball. I missed the trip to Florida that the team uh -huh. always went on. <laughs> so those type of things and just coming in and then getting to like getting to play. Mm -hmm. um, I always was kind of iffy about that. I didn't want to like step on anybody's toes, but I also, I think they understood I was putting in time practicing other things too. So and a lot of times I did double practice. Sure. So that I, I tried to do as much with the softball team as I could, but obviously I had to be careful not with injuries. That was a big thing uh, with doubling up. You didn't mm -hmm. want to get yourself injured for the current season, working with the next season. So, right. um, but I think just having good understanding teammates and coaches made the transition much easier. You know, I think that's one of the aspects about division three that kind of goes unnoticed is it allows the student athletes an opportunity to play multiple sports. You know, um, as, as you go to the higher levels, it's kind of more of a job or profession where you're dedicating all your time to that one sport. But at division three, you can play basketball. If you played softball in high school and you want to go up, you can play so like you can do multiple things at division three. Yes. I actually ran in one cross country meet too. Oh, so. really? Yeah. Like <laughs> I get a call from our, well, coach Barkey was the cross country coach. Uh, and I think he recruited a couple of us basketball players because they were short, uh -huh. uh, a couple runners one morning. Hey, I need you to run. I'm like, I've never run before in my life. So, Hey, I finished the race. It might it, not have been the, the best, but I, I did do it. <laughs> and I'm sure some of it was also him getting you guys a little extra conditioning for the conditioning, season, yes. right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you go. Um, you know, as we look through this all decade list of names, um, do you see any names that kind of stand out to you that you remember enjoying competing with or against on the basketball court? Uh, I, I did. Uh, there were several that I recognize and I always enjoy like, People can say like, oh, I hate playing against this person or I hated playing against this person. You always want to play about against the best competition. Mm -hmm. uh, so I always, you know, you just hope your team has a better night than their team sure. um, or you have a better night than that person. So um, a couple of them, like Hoss Child, uh, we were Fontbonne since we were just <laughs> down the street from each other. Fontbonne used to be a real big rivalry. So uh, Hoss Child was on there, Klotz. And then I had the opportunity to coach uh, with Elizabeth when she she came over to Webster to coach at Webster mm -hmm. um, after she graduated and I was coaching as well. So that was that was a great uh, uh, experience as well. Uh, Melissa Stewart, uh, I think she was a point guard for Fonbon. She right. was yeah, there was a lot of times like, gosh, I just hope she has an off shooting night, like no threes. So, um, but I mean, I remember, I mean, Julie Kaufman, Greenville point guard, really, really good player. I think an Angie Carr, um, she's on there for Webster. I got to play with her um, when I was a senior, she was a freshman, um, great player. So um, I've been fortunate to play with and against some pretty decent competition. Yeah, I'd say so. Well, uh, my final question, if you just want to kind of update everybody, what have you been up since uh, since leaving Webster University? Well, um, I, I actually uh, worked at Webster after I graduated. I coached for a couple of years and then um, I went to position assistant school in Carbondale. Um, so I am a I am a position assistant. I graduated back in 2008. Uh, I practiced at a rural health clinic in uh, southern Illinois for several years. And now I, uh, I work at SIU in, Car in Carbondale. Um, I am a uh, assistant professor in the uh, PA program. So I went back and I'm uh, teaching in the PA program okay. and I recently got my doctorate. So wow. yeah. So, so it's Dr. Hallie Barkey. Now. It is Dr. Hallie Barkey, but uh, it's a little confusing. Uh, some of my old patients reached out to me when I when they found out and they're like, oh, where are you practicing? I'm like, it's not that kind of doctorate. It's an <laughs> academic doctorate. Uh, but I do still practice uh, in a pediatric office um, as needed. Uh, but most of my time is spent with the PA program and setting students up with their clinical rotations and that kind of thing. So right. Well, um, I really appreciate you uh, again talking with us today, and I hope you enjoy the walk down uh, memory lane. So it was, it was, it was great. Thank you. <laughs> I right, feel honored you. to have been, you know, able to, to do, uh, 
what I've done and play against, like I said, some amazing uh, athletes and women. So it, it's a it's a nice remembering uh, for me. So well, I'm glad you enjoyed it, and thank you again, and we will see you around. All right, thank you.